two of six characters in search of an author, the director, foreman, and property man set up the first scene in the parlor of Madame Pache, the stepdaughter's employer. The director casts actors in the role of the characters, but they're missing Madame Pache, who soon enters as the actors scream in terror. The stepdaughter has a private conversation with Madame Pache, and the mother shrieks at Madame Pache to get away from her daughter. Madame Pache speaks in unintelligible sentences combining Spanish and English. The director finds her absurd and comical, but Madame Pache leaves, refusing to be in the same room as the mother. The father and stepdaughter act out the scene while the actors watch until the director stops the scene so the leading man and leading lady can take over the roles. The stepdaughter and the father don't think the actors resemble them at all. The stepdaughter tells the director she wants to perform what really happened. The father propositioned her and she undressed. The two nearly had a sexual encounter. The director says the scene she's describing is impossible to perform on stage. The stepdaughter threatens to leave. Does the director want to see the character's real drama? The mother sobs and begs the director not to allow their story on stage. The traumatic events aren't in the past. They're still happening and torturing her every day. The father adds that the stepdaughter wants to trap him in one shameful moment of his life. The stepdaughter recreates the moment she found herself in the father's arms and tells the mother to scream as you screamed then. The mother separates the two, shrieking. The actors are aghast, while the director applauds a splendid first scene. This act shows how the character's story gets reshaped and redrawn on stage. The director has been coerced into being the author, but as author, he wants to shape the story. He needs conflict with the character's desire to tell their version of the truth. They've found an author, but the problem isn't solved. The conundrum invites the question of a fiction author or playwright's obligation to truth. Should it be an emotional truth? A truth that transcends the needs of performance? The play also calls into question the validity and morality of the actor's profession. Do the characters have a right to their own story? Or do the actors have license to interpret it in a new way?